I Love You, Beth Cooper, 2009. The nerdy teenager Dennis Cooverman harbors a secret crush on Beth Cooper, the hottest girl in school. During his graduation speech, Dennis lets the cat out of the bag and declares his love for Beth, who, instead of dissing Dennis, shows up at his house later that day and promises to show him the best night of his life. Oh. <laughs> hey everyone, and welcome back to Movie Time. Today, we're covering a movie recap about the 2009 comedy and romance movie, I Love You, Beth Cooper. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Movie Time if you like this recap. So, let's get going. Based on the novel by former Simpsons writer Larry Doyle, I Love You, Beth Cooper opens with a high school super nerd boldly declaring his long unspoken love for the head cheerleader during his valedictory speech. It's a supremely clueless moment in a supremely clueless movie, but it sets up a potentially interesting dilemma. What will happen when ugh, he actually has to speak to her? How might the real girl square with the fantasy? Well, Doyle and director Chris Columbus peel back the fantasy of an untouchable beauty to reveal another fantasy, that of a manic pixie dream girl who sprinkles fairy dust on the hero's head and drags him into adulthood by his Spider-Man underoos. The movie starts with a high school graduation and a girl singing with a guitar. Behind her, we see the faculty seated along with Dennis, the valedictorian, who's staring into space. He's having a flashback about his friend, explaining to him that if he doesn't make a move, the girl he likes will never know that he even existed and that he needs to do something memorable, something that'll make history in some sort of way. He tells Dennis to do so in his valedictorian speech. Dennis is called onto the stage to give his speech. It starts off pretty awkward as he cracks a joke that nobody laughs at, except for his parents, which kind of makes it worse. While reminiscing, he says that he has no regrets, and then he drops a bomb on the audience with one simple line saying, I love you, Beth Cooper, looking her right in the eyes. He then goes on to explain how long he has loved her for. Meanwhile, we can see how angry Beth's boyfriend Kevin is, who goes to military school. Dennis, the valedictorian, goes on to pinpoint other students from the audience, such as one with an eating disorder, a girl named Valley who is too full of herself, and a kid named Craig who is a bully. He even points towards Kevin by saying he can't get himself an adult girlfriend. He then looks at his best friend Rich and claims that he's gay. Now, Dennis goes outside and meets his teacher. She says she wasn't expecting him to do something so reckless and that it could jeopardize his admission to Stanford University. He explains to her how it was important for Beth to remember him, which is why he had to do this. After that, Beth approaches Dennis and says that he embarrassed her, but it was sweet. Meanwhile, Rich approaches and tells Dennis that he isn't gay. Dennis then invites Beth to a party that he's hosting, and Beth says she might stop by. Beth's boyfriend Kevin comes and confronts Dennis. Rich again insists to Dennis that he isn't gay, and Dennis replies to him that everyone thinks he is. After that, Dennis has another flashback of a moment that definitely implies that Rich really might be gay. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that, but Rich should own it. Dennis claims that he had a girlfriend named Patty while Rich stayed single. Then, Dennis shows Rich his iPod that he got as a gift and Rich says his dad just sent him a bill. Rich arrives at Dennis's house later and shows off his new shoes that he bought for himself with two paychecks. Dennis, on the other hand, is very uninterested and is more concerned with throwing his party. His mother insists that he shouldn't have too much fun, while his father says that he should and he should abandon his lucky Spider-Man underpants. His dad gives him a bottle of champagne that he can share with everyone and even tells him where his hoard of condoms is. Now, as you might guess, Beth and her friends arrive at Dennis's house and realize they're the first ones there. Suddenly, Dennis gets the bright idea to offer the champagne his dad mentioned. The only thing is that he struggles opening the bottle and accidentally cuts himself while doing so. Rich then thinks to show the condoms his dad mentioned and Dennis accidentally smacks himself in the face with the cork. Beth ices Dennis's face with something from the freezer. She's sitting on Dennis as she does so and Dennis perks up a bit, which amuses the girls. The girls find the condoms and get ready to leave. And, like clockwork, things get worse as Kevin and his friends arrive at Dennis's house. Dennis tries to secure the house since Kevin is trying to get in. Kevin makes his way from the back door and Beth realizes that he's under the influence. Kevin begins breaking things in the house and even hurls the microwave at Dennis, which gets stuck in the kitchen wall. Rich and Dennis run upstairs as Kevin chases them. Rich hides in the closet, whereas 
Kevin breaks the door and enters to see a poster of Beth on Dennis's ceiling. While it's both sweet and creepy, it's definitely not going to help Dennis's beef with Kevin. Kevin rips off the arms of a skeleton in Dennis's room and begins beating Dennis with them. Meanwhile, Rich escaped out the window. Beth suddenly has a change of heart, knocks out Kevin, and notices her poster. In the meantime, Kevin wakes up and pushes Dennis off the roof. Rich and Dennis escape to the road where Beth accidentally hits Dennis with her car. She tells them to get in and they drive off. They quickly realize that Beth is a horrendous driver. Now, Beth and Dennis enter a gas station to grab some beer. They try to purchase the beer, but the cashier asks for an ID, for which Beth hands over a fake. She even claims that Dennis is her little brother. However, she cuts a deal by kissing the cashier, which he accepts without a second thought. Seeing this disappoints Dennis, since he realizes that his thought of who Beth was is far from who she actually is. In any event, they make their way to the woods, where they sip a bit, and Dennis gets awfully silent. He tries opening his beer with his teeth and ends up breaking one of them. The song Kiss Beth comes on and Beth gives her friends the look to leave, where only Beth and Dennis remain. Beth tells Dennis she has no such plans for the future and seems unexcited. She tells him she heard him saying that she isn't the Beth Cooper he knew, and he explains to her that she's much better than she thinks she is. Well, excellent save. The others come back and once again Beth showcases her horrendous driving skills and hits a parked car on the side of the road. Once everything stops, an old couple steps out of the parked car and Dennis realizes that it's his parents. Dennis tells Beth to get out of there as fast as she could. They arrive at Valley Woolley's house, whom Dennis called pretentious in his speech. Dennis runs into Greg, and Greg starts getting emotional and opening up to him. Dennis goes out to Rich, and they see their gym teacher getting a little too comfortable with female students. Dennis meets Patty, who tells him that Beth's boyfriend is actually at the same party upstairs. Dennis and Rich try to escape with Beth and her friends, but inevitably fail, and get seen by Kevin, who, as it turns out, has been messing around with Valley, thus breaking Beth's heart. Kevin tries to pick a fight with Dennis, while Beth does a bit of soul searching. Kevin is about to beat Dennis into oblivion, but is stopped by the gym teacher, who comes in and starts establishing rules, saying that he wants a clean fight. Dennis tries apologizing, but Kevin punches him. Then, Greg comes in and tries to save Dennis, but the real savior here is Beth, who suddenly crashes into the house using Kevin's hammer and escapes with the crew. With Beth's terrible driving, they head to the high school. There, Beth and her friends decide to show Dennis the things that give her nostalgia and make her ponder about school. Then, she and her friends decide to hit the showers. Green as they are, Dennis stops second-guessing himself, takes his dad's advice, and heads over to the showers. Beth smiles when she sees him. She tells him not to be shy and drops her towel. Beth's friends invite Dennis to join in. In the middle of Dennis having the time of his life, Kevin arrives. Rich steps in to intervene and starts hitting Kevin and his friends with a wet blanket, showing off his ironic expertise. Meanwhile, Dennis takes Beth, Cammy, and Treese and tells them to escape using Beth's car that Kevin used to track them down. After Rich has finally won the towel fight, he joins joins the rest, and they drive off to Treese's dad's cabin. Here, it's revealed that Beth and her friends only decided to show up to Dennis's party because they thought it would be funny, which again, breaks Dennis's heart. Now, during a deep conversation that Dennis has with Beth, he tells Beth how so many guys would love her, but Beth says all the other guys would only be interested in one night. Deep down, Dennis thinks that he doesn't have a chance with Beth, so he just stays silent. Then, they reach Treese's dad's cabin and drank a lot of vodka. Treese gets Dennis out of the poncho, and Beth asks if anyone would like to see the sunrise with her, to which Dennis volunteers, and they have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Rich is inside with Treese and Cammy, and Cammy reveals that she's a movie fanatic too. Dennis and Beth are still outside and he finally gathers up the courage to tell Beth how he feels. And then, Dennis finally gets the chance to kiss Beth, and bang! Everyone gets back to Dennis's house, and we can see that his mom disapproves of Beth. Dennis's dad tells Rich he should stay at their place for a couple days. Because of Rich's dad, Dennis's dad seems proud of him and is happy for him. Dennis and Beth wish each other the best of luck, and Beth kisses him again. Dennis tells her that if they're still single after a couple of years, he'll marry her, and she says that's a promise. Beth drives off with her friends, and after his encounter, Rich actually comes out of the closet. Well. Overall, the movie's a pretty fun movie, but lots of good old-fashioned intimacy misconduct mixed with high school tricks shows a bit of a classic image. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more upcoming movie time recap videos. See you next time. Also, don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. Until then, be safe and stay well.